This is a 1987 Chevrolet S10 Blazer, four-wheel drive with a 2.8 liter and an automatic transmission. This one's nice because it's only got 120,000 miles and the body is clean, straight, and there is no rust at all. So pretty, pretty rare. One thing that you'll notice first uh, in the picture gallery is a lot of the patina on the truck. And it's kind of a cool little patina, mainly on the driver's side and around the tailgate where it's got some of that black coming through, the red paint. And on the back here of the tailgate, it's starting to kind of smoke its way through. The thing I really like about these blazers is the tailgate and the bumpers, they're always so cool looking. The bumpers always just kind of seem to be indestructible. The tailgate lettering always seems to be, you know, complete. You look at a lot of the new trucks these days or the, um, you know, I'm thinking 90s and early 2000s where a lot of the, the tailgate lettering is kind of faded and peeling. It just doesn't look very good. These ones always kind of just withstand the, um, just withstand the, the use and the time. But let's look down some of the panels and just see how straight this thing is. Passenger side shows nice and clean, no waves. Same holds true up through the top and on the roof. Hood's nice and straight. In the listing, I mentioned that there was two dings and they're hard to see, but they're kind of right there and there. That's really the only imperfections that I have seen really is as far as, you know, small dings on the truck. Front bumper and grill, you know, show some wear, but they're just good examples of original parts. All the wheels are clean, no curb rash. The tires are fairly old. Um, see if we can get a date code. Uh, let's see. I can't read that very well. But they're 235, 75, 15s. In good shape. They're just, just old, I think. I think they've been on the truck for probably, you know, maybe 10 years is a guess, but... I'll get the accurate date code in the in the listing. Oh, we'll look down this side and see how clean and straight that is. Maybe a little bit of wave, a little bit. Eh, not really. I mean, it's just just a nice clean example. Some patina there. It's not it's not peeling. It's just just patina around some of the moldings you'll see you know fairly consistent fading on the moldings some of the rubber here is cracked but the chrome's pretty nice the glass is good windshield wipers uh, nice and clean we redid the shocks on this did quite a bit of uh, maintenance to it I'll talk about that when we pop up the hood see the shocks underneath there we'll pop the glass Open the tailgate. Yeah. 
nice and clean interior a couple scrapes here nothing major this is the uh the spare this is that uniroyal tire that they're known for <laughs> just they're just cool that's the original and if you did not like white letter tires you did not like these trucks because that was their identifying mark Got the spare tire jack right in there. We put a new headliner in it. Uh, the ones that come stock are, are thin and they, the adhesive starts to sag pretty badly. And so we put a nice, uh, nice new headliner in it. A little thicker material. Looks a lot better. Gaskets around here are good. Open up the passenger door. Look at the jams. Door jams are clean. And this will be the same thing on the other side too. Just nice and clean, no rust. No rust will be the theme on the truck. Interior is very nice. Some adhesive here that we couldn't get off. Dash is not cracked. A little bit better look of the headliner. Back seats. And the back seat folds down. Let's see if we can get that. Sorry about that. Nice and flat. Seats are in great shape. Driver's side will show a little bit of wear right around the, the bolster. Some cracking there on the emblem. And you'll see when this got detailed, uh, some of the difference in the, in the paint there. It's almost like it's drying all the time. Passenger side jams just as nice as the passenger. Get a little look under here too, show you that there's no rust in there. So a little bit of wear right there. Rest of the seats, really good condition. Steering wheel, not much wear. Pretty common GM fading on some of the uh, instrumentation. You'll see the cluster says 120,000 miles. That's accurate. Put a new windshield wiper lever, turn signal lever on it. When we got the car, the Windshield wipers weren't working, so we also replaced the motor. Everything works great now. Pretty easy to get the seat up and down. These little storage containers, pockets are cool. storage right there too pretty clean and we'll pop the hood Alright, 
so under here we've got quite a bit of new stuff new serpentine belt new battery new coolant temp sensor new water pump new heater hoses new fan clutch new radiator and we flush the coolant transmission was also serviced new fluid in the transmission new filter We did all the cooling system, might as well do the radiator kit, radiator cap, so we did that. And then the windshield wiper motor that I mentioned earlier, that's new. Lots of new stuff. It does have AC. The R12 is low, so it doesn't blow cold, but it does work. Everything's nice and clean here. A little bit of a leak on the valve covers. Nothing terrible. 